1989, Billy Joel came out with a song called We Didn't Start the Fire, which is all about modern events that are really horrible or controversial or even outstanding. But the point of the song is that these things didn't just start in his lifetime from 1949 to 1989, but they started before that and they're going to continue. We're humans. We don't learn. Today we're going to look at that and one of the events that occurs in his song called Israeli-Palestinian Conflict. And then we're also going to look at how this happened in our very own U.S. and we're going to look at how it is still happening in the Ukraine. Let me tell you a little story to help you understand. You have your favorite playground and you go there every day after school and it's your favorite place to think. Your mom and dad tell you that you're moving in with your grandma and grandpa because they need help. So you go to Kansas, where they live, and you find a new playground because you're pretty adaptable. And then the worst thing that can happen other than them dying happens. And that is a tornado hits their house. And a tornado hits your favorite playground. So they decide that it's best if they move back to where you were from. So you go back to your favorite playground. You're on your playground and all of a sudden other kids come in and you think, oh great, a chance to meet new kids. I need new friends. So you're playing in your playground and they're like, hey, what gives? This is our place to play. And you say, well, it's a public place. Anybody can play here. And they said, nuh-uh, this is our place. We were here first. They hop on the slide and say, you can't play here. And you say, well, I lived here before you did. And then their retort is, well, they lived here now and you left. So therefore, it's theirs. And then they say that they're going to take the slide and you can't play on it ever. This is really similar to what's happening in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict even still today. But the one that Billy Joel talked about was the conflict of a piece of land known as Palestine. Palestine is basically the playground and the two countries that are at war are Israel and Palestine. Palestine claims that they have a right to the land because they have occupied it for the past several hundred years. What the Israel say is Israelites say is that they occupied it before them so that they technically have a right to it. Who owns the land? The people who were there to begin with and were kind of pushed out or the people who occupy it now and made it prosper? Then to make it worse, they decided that they were not going to be allowed to play on the slide, which is their capital, Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is a holy place for both Jews or Israelites and Muslims, Palestinians. So this is where the conflict is. Who gets the playground? Is it the people who were there the whole time? Or is it the people who left and came back? This is really similar to something that happened here in the United States. In 1492, you know who sailed the ocean blue. Okay, so Christopher Columbus comes over to the United States in order to find a faster way to get to Chile and to get to China to get exports. But when he finds America, he thinks it's the wrong place. He thinks he's landed somewhere else, but he finds a wonderful resource of wonderful natural resources and, and a prosperous land. So he says, hey, this is a great place. And he goes back to Spain and says, hey, guys, we got to go check this out. So he goes and he checks it out and he comes back. But there are people on his playground. And those people on his playground are like, hey, come on, come play with us. And he says, hey, guys, you know what? I'm going to make this even better. So let's let, why don't you guys work with me and I'll make this place prosper. I'll make it even better playground. So he does that. But then as he's watching it, he says, uh, I don't like the way that you're doing this. So can you only play in this section? And they're like, no, we want to play everywhere. So they play everywhere only to have a fight. And in that fight, the people who were there first are chased off. In fact, they're told they can never come back and they don't. This is really similar to what happened with Christopher Columbus, who came to America when he finally establishes America and he chased off the indigenous people, which we very rarely see here in the United States. And this is their original land. So who does this land really belong to? The indigenous people or the people who moved here and made it prosperous? Finally, we can see the same exact thing happening in the Ukraine right now. Imagine a little park, not really big, kind of humble, but this 
very powerful man comes in and he says, hey, I'm going to make this park amazing. I'm going to build up all the area around it and we're going to make one big, wonderful park. And you guys are like, great. So he builds up the park all around it. But then after it starts getting going wild, people come in and people are having fun. But he says, oh, I spent all this money to build this up. I need it to be taken care of. So I'm going to make these rules. Uh, I want to make more rules because I want to make sure that things are taken care of. Ooh, I don't like it when people do that. So he starts taking control of his playground. You can still play on it, but only by his rules and only certain people can play on it. And you think, you know, my park is over here. It's a little bit teeny tiny park. Maybe if we just section that off, we don't have to deal with those rules. So you do that, except he's not happy about it. And you don't understand because it's your park to begin with. So he says, okay, look, you can keep your park, but you do have to follow some of my rules. This is an example of the little park being the Ukraine and the big park being Russia. In 1991, the little park or the Ukraine was free from the communist, well, uh, the USSR. At that point, they decided to be a sovereign nation and be their own state. But Russia didn't like this because they supported them for so long. Ukraine needed some help, so they decided to enlist the help of the countries around them and wanted to join NATO. By joining NATO, this allowed the big playground owner to not have as much power as he did before. So now we have a system where we've got one man who's very powerful and owns all the playgrounds in the area and a little subsidiary who wants to be part of its own and make its own rules. So the question is, who owns that playground? Is it the guy who helped prosper all the places around it? Or is it theirs because they were there to begin with? This is the exact same thing that's happening with Ukraine. Ukraine is a small playground. The big playgrounds are what is now known as Russia. The fact is in Billy Joel's song, he says that in 1989 to 1949, that we didn't start the fire. That They tried to stop it. They didn't start it, but they're gonna try to finish it. But no matter what they do, it's going to keep happening over and over and over again. Just like new kids moving into your favorite playground.